Hey guys, back to work. Gonna show you some of what I do here. New job. It's bleach and water. First I swept the steps. Now it's bleach and water to clean all the nooks and crannies. And this is before. sidewalk we're going to be using this well I'm going to be using this so I'm going to fill all the cracks she gave me these things to swipe in smooth so there's quite a few we got to work on you'll see some big ones just a variety all around so I'm going to start on that now
Okay, so that part of the steps is done for now. Uh, Got to do halfway down each side so that people can walk up and down the steps. So I'm going to let that chill for like a half an hour. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to finish the other side. And then that's going to take until tomorrow for when I come and uh, sand it and then paint it. Break time. All right, so this is the basement that I'll be working on um, in between or after. So basically, as you see this ceiling here, this part here was all started by one of the guys, okay? But he never finished, all right? So he's got all of this down here pretty much, but he stopped here, okay? So basically, it'll be all the ceiling here. Okay, you'll see those nails. Yeah, I'll just paint paint over the nails. I was instructed exactly what to do, but first is scraping everything down. Okay, there will be no cutting or banging of the nails. I am to leave the nails alone and paint over them. So what's going to be very hard is getting in between the pipes here. So this one is going to be really difficult to get my body into but there's a lot here to do and it's going to take me a long time but you'll see how the paint is all peeling right there so yeah so i'll have to scrape this is actually a good photo right here so I'll paint and then, or scrape, and then I'm going to be painting what's left in here. So, and then I just cover a washer and dryer. Um, I vacuum the carpet. That's, you know, what I do every week. Um, I just got done sweeping a pile. I didn't get anything down under there. But I swept everything from over there and over here and made a pile here. This will be the ladder I'm going to use to get up there and then I swept here and made a pile here so I had to sweep all in between these guys here okay and then made a pile there so I'll get to that and then I swept all at the door frame and I got a pile there so yeah this is just our little walk through here okay and this is where Andrea stores all her stuff okay and then we all have bicycles so we store them there and then over here, this is where I'm working on the steps, okay? So, let's see what the temperature is. Um, okay, there we go. So we got 70, no, oh, like 77. So, it is gorgeous. So, this is what I'm working on. And this here... Um, this house was the funeral parlor, so here was the working area. Uh, this is all down here, original carpets, so they're extremely old. And you'll just see, just you can tell that this is from 1830. It's 1830, 1860, I can't recall. So um, these steps go up to my apartment, so I have to vacuum these stairs. So we have all this stuff down here. There's all these rooms. This is all Andrea stuff. Um, coming into a little darker zone here. Let's flick a light. So you'll see these rooms. These are all little cubby rooms. Okay, so this is where they had all the funeral parlor equipment. Um, I do have, I got my two um, sharp vacuums here and I got my winter clothes. So this is basically, you know, just storage. My antique bike is back there. Um, and that's another room that has a closed off door where they probably, I think that was the freezer area maybe for her body. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so he was down here redoing this whole ceiling. So he got this part done here. So this was all, um, scraped and sanded. So that'll probably be next is to have that all painted as well. So this is the basement tour. Okay, so you can just see the brick, the concrete. I mean, yeah. So, interesting. And then this is the fireplace hiding behind here. 
and um, this is the part that I had spoken of somewhere else um, it kind of failed uh, this piping right here there's not supposed to be just one going into the chimney and up the chimney and out for our ca carbon um, monoxide um, or is it dioxide carbon monoxide but somehow they're gonna have to break through and connect another pipe into the chimney but yeah so this is the other room that I'm going to be working in. I vacuum every week, yada, yada, yada. So that is just my basement tour. Okay, now I'm going to do the right side because I let the other side sit for about an hour. <sighs> Fun.
I am done cementing the steps and we will wait until tomorrow when I get back from the doctors to paint it so till then and then we'll show you the paint job bye hey okay so we are on one two three step three where I'm going to be painting down half the steps let that dry, come back later, and paint the rest of the steps. So, here we go. Got to get this done before the rain comes tomorrow. Labor Day rain and storms. Fun. Stay safe, everybody, out there in the hurricane path. Okay guys, so I am done painting uh, half of the steps as you can see behind me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let that dry for, I really don't know, I'm gonna go start the ceiling in the basement, um, maybe about an hour, I'd say. We'll check the time and then uh, I'll come back and paint the rest as long as that side is dry. All right, later. Okay guys, I am starting on the other project. Uh, while the paint is drying out there, uh, half of it anyway, I am going to be listening to my music. That is my little replica um, box. I have the horn upstairs, but I love this thing. It's really cool. Uh, old tape deck, cassette deck here, uh, and it works too. So I'm going to be listening to my music, and I'm going to be starting over here with getting the other half of the ceiling. So I had to move the table out of the way, just slide it down so I can get the chair in this corner. Um, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be reaching. Uh, I really wish I can get on here, but we're gonna see. This is gonna be a real pain running it all the way down here. This will be easy all above me here because, you know, I'm right on the ground here, but yeah, getting into all this, that's not going to be fun, but girl power, baby, I can do this.
So that's going to be a difficult one. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to film that whole process, so we'll see. Because this video is going to want to be in long, but I'm going to uh, fast, fast up uh, each section for you to make it as short as possible. So I'm going to just do this. I just touched the paint. It's not all the way dry, um, but I want to get this done. So I'm going to finish painting these steps and then uh, go back into the... Um, basement and work on that. So here we go.
job number one is done which is the steps so that took three days total to do each process so they will dry overnight till tomorrow and hopefully it's perfect so I'll take some pictures and send it to the landlady and I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna go back and work on the basement ceiling hope you like it Oof. Okay, so I made a huge mess in here, guys, but, all right, so I've been scraping all of this. You can see where I'm at, so right here, right above, right there, that's where I stopped. I got as much as I can right here. I'm going to bring down my sanders, so then I'm going to go back and scrape here, because it was a hard angle to get the stuff. But I did get like right here. I got a scrape with the other tool there. So, yeah, it's really hard, guys, getting in between these pipes, you know what I mean? So, and I'm working with this thingamajigger, which one of her guys did this, or she did this, which is pretty cool. Um, I just need a smaller one, like just that alone there. And then I'm using this thing here to get into the small spots. So I already got one boo-boo, slice my knuckle, but whatever, it's all part of the job. So, whew, I am pooped, but the job's getting done.
while I was working in the basement, um, I sent the pictures to Andrea. I said, are you sure that you don't want me to paint the bottom or the top part of the steps? And she looked at the pictures, she sent it back. I said, I have just enough probably to do the bottom. Not sure if I can do the top, but definitely the bottom. She told me, yes, go do it. So, that is what I've been trying to tell her. This is way better than leaving the bottom part, you know, the concrete, like the top part there. So, hopefully this will dry tomorrow because we got rain coming in tomorrow. So, fingers crossed. All right. Now I can say I'm done with that project. Bye. Okay, while I was doing all the work on the uh, porch here, I tried to sweep as much as I can in between our wall. And one of the guys, I think, knocked the rock off. So what I'm going to do is use her cement, and I'm going to fill it in here, and I'm going to try to put this puppy back on. Work never ends, woo. <laughs>scraping of the basement ceiling to do she's coming tomorrow to clean up all of this mess here but i need the shop vac it needs a new filter so hopefully i can get all the scrapings done so i can start the painting process and uh, hopefully i'm done with this by tonight so we'll see
Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I scraped a lot of the ceiling. Um, I don't know if there's more paint that needs to come off in that very far corner. It's really hard to get in there because uh, of the pipes and everything. So I'll give it one more look as I go through. I'm going to just take a five minute break. Um, drink some more water. I'm exhausted. Um, ugh. Hold on. Ugh. And realize it was on my lips. Uh, yeah, it's not just the paint that gets scraped off. It's all the dust that falls. And I don't know if I'm working with lead or not. This place is from 1830 or 1860. Old funeral parlor. You just don't know what you're going to be getting yourself into as you you dig and scrape. So, as you can see over here, the steps look good. Uh, they were uh, covered with water from the rainstorm we had earlier. So... Uh, I just took the broom to it, and I'm like, okay, you know, the color stayed, because that was a worry, because I did that yesterday. So, alright, I'm going to take this break, and then I'm going to go upstairs and grab my sanders, and I think I'm going to sand some of the wood and paint off, because there's some uh, crackage of the wood, so, breaks and whatnot. So, alright guys, uh, this is quite the adventure here, but uh, if I can get this done, and she loves it. Actually, it's so funny, because... She texted me earlier, she told another crew that she works with, uh, the, his wife, the husband drops her off at different jobs and she cleans places, and she had mentioned me and how good I'm doing here, and, you know, that I work for the other two, uh, people, and, uh, she told him that, you know, maybe they consider hiring me to come on, uh, with the wife and clean, so I wrote her back. And I told her, not at this time, I'm interested because I have a lot of doctor's appointments coming up. If I have surgery on my eye, you know, the eyeball behind the, behind the eye, on the socket, um, that's going to put me out of commission for a while. Um, so right now I'd rather just focus on the things that I'm starting up. I'm not going to say anything, but uh, if everything falls through, it's a whole new career coming my way. So I just want to focus on uh, what I have planned then to take on the responsibility of somebody else's business and most likely picking the girl up, dropping the girl off. And then I'm, I'm not a big fan of the cleaning the houses and stuff. That's one person that I work for. He'll hire me uh, occasionally to clean out a rental and it's a lot of work. You guys have seen in one of my videos, it's, or two of my, it's pretty gross. Um, but I do enjoy working with, uh, the painter, um, in construction cleanup, you know, I, I enjoy that. And he also taught me, um, I mean, I've been painting for years, but he just taught me tips of the painter's world and it's interesting. So I'm using those and I'm working over here. So it's pretty cool but i have other things up my sleeve uh that i've already made appointments uh for to you know further educate myself um i don't want to reveal anything until i know for sure what's going on and then i was out to breakfast with someone yesterday who uh sent an email to her company to her job uh require you know telling them about me uh all right, I'll cut it off right there because I'm just going all over the place. So uh, I'm going to take my break and uh, be back later. So, so far, so good. Bye. Okay, it's now September 3rd. It is my oldest daughter's 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Crystal Lynn. Uh, but yeah, today I'm going to be sanding. So I have, wait, where is it? Uh, okay, so I have my sander there and I have another one. On the floor there so I'm going to be doing that let's see how this goes
recording since this is our very first job. And then I'm going to go fast forward into, uh, you wearing this? You were wearing this two days ago. Why your face so red? Want to say hello to everybody? Say hi, everybody. Hola, senors. I'm telling you, this is a lot of work. Yeah. Scraping all the look. This is I had to push it into a corner. This whole entire thing was just covered, man. Is your shit open? <clears throat> Everything's open. Back door. Back door. Front door. Cigarettes. Uh, I have one right here and a brand new pack up to the back door on the key holder. Oh, Whew. Yeah. Just so. definitely not have her down here because we don't know what paint. Oh, it's time for you to take your break. The steps are dry. You can go through my front door. Just make sure you push it closed or go well, back. It's time door. for you to take a break. Get your funky ass up here. Huh. I already had a break. I just came back from break. So hold on. Yeah. I'll be right there.
am freaking exhausted. Uh, I have finished sanding, scraping, sweeping. Uh, as you can see, I got all of that up. Uh, I am covered in dust from 1860, 1860 or 1830. This house was built. I just can't remember, but being a funeral parlor god knows what shit has sprayed all over here you know what i'm saying so but my mask keeps break or my goggles keep breaking i uh, couldn't find my mask so that's okay whatever if i get sick then i know what the hell it's from but anyway so the ceiling here this job was started a while ago and then he stopped at certain parts. So I don't know if you guys can really tell how much I did. The paint I couldn't chip off, I sanded down. This part here was extremely difficult to get in between all these piping. So I did the best I can. So I'm going to sit down and drink some coffee and uh, collect my thoughts. And then I'm going to start painting. Okay. Ugh. Here we go. Got to keep thinking. It's money, 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 money. Show me the money. Yeah, I'd like to get it done by tonight. All right, I'm starting to paint. Said she didn't care that it was white compared to the beige that the other one is. So do the best I can.
uh, I lost track of what day it is, but uh, anyway, it is Friday. Uh, I am almost done with half of the basement. Um, I would be pretty much done, except for the very far end, there's too much rotted wood over there. Um, I swept it, and if you try to paint, it just, it's nasty. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty much done with my side. Then I realized that Manny never finished the other side. But I'm almost done for the day. My back is killing me. A lot of reaching up and whatnot. So, but just wanted to give you an update. I'm taking a break. I think I got paint on my lips. I tried to scrub it off, but got paint all over me. What else is new? Fun, fun, fun. Paint, 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 paint. But this time I was smart because I'm still having issues getting the paint out and I can't flat iron my hair with paint in it. So, but uh, it's almost completely gone. This time I put my hospital hat on and it just drops right on the hat. So, I wish I would have thought about this sooner. So, I'm going to start saving these for when, um, you know, for down here, any other painting jobs, whatnot. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and uh, as soon as I'm done with this project, I'll say the end results, because it's been a long one, and it's going to be a long video. Um, I am fast-forwarding through the cleaning scenes. I didn't record what I just done, because you get the idea. So, all right, Mwah. love you guys. Bye. All right, guys, so I do believe I am done on this side, as you can see. You will see a darker color paint. She does not have any more of that. So she told me just to use the white that she had given me. So pretty much this is what I've painted. I mean, it's not the best, but I couldn't get everything scraped or sanded off. Um, I painted the door frame. She did one side. I did the rest of it. She just wanted to paint over it. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is a basement. She did have the paint tested for lead. That was negative. So this was very hard to get my hands inside all these pipes to try to do it. But I did it. The best that I can I ignored some spots down there because I just can't get into that um, and it's very rusty you'll see where I stopped over here um, when you start painting it just all falls down so that was really hard to get that stuff it was messing up all my sponges and stuff so in this part way down here I might try that tomorrow I'm not sure I took the broom to it um, but I think I am going to try because down here it does look like he, you know, it was semi-painted. So I think that's the only part. But other than that, any holes you see, that's for piping, etc. So not bad, guys. Not bad at all. It was difficult to get in, as you see, some of this stuff here. And we're talking about a ton of nails. We're talking about some rotted wood. So I went down and finished the job he left off down here. Uh, now as for him, he had started on this stuff, but he stopped. So it looks like I'm going to have to go in and do some work all over here. So this is going to be a whole other project of scraping. See how he's painted some and then like stopped in areas. So I'll probably go over this stuff here. Um, but other than that, it looks like he did a good amount of work. So this is just minor. It's just me getting in between these pipes might not work. So I might have to leave it alone. But I know I can touch this up because this is in my reach here. And let me see over here. Looks like he stopped right there. For the pipes, what I do is I get in between the pipes with my paintbrush. If I can with the roller, I'll do it. So, yeah, I'll fix that for her. Um, and I'm sure I can get in and get that. So, 
Yeah, guys, this is, I think, three days, not full days, but like two hours, three hours at a pop that I did this ceiling. She said just to make it look clean. I really do wish I had the other paint there, but whatever. But this is what she said to do. So, yeah, and I just vacuumed up uh, what I could. I got a little bit more paint on the uh whatever you call it down there um i also stepped on this here to reach and i broke it it collapsed down on me so that was a nice little fall i'm glad i didn't record that so all right guys so this is it i am done with this painting for now i'll get the other stuff done but i don't think i'm going to record that thing i'm just going to edit this video and send it off and show you guys uh the steps that i did and then this paint job um, i'm going to go back and re-cement the one side of the steps and then when she's back from visiting her son she's going to bring me another small gallon of paint okay so that is it i am finally done uh, at least with this video, so I'll edit and get it out there just to show you guys that I do do work. Ha ha ha. Bye, love yous. Take care. Okay, I am going to start uh, re-cementing the side of the steps. So, and when she gets back from her trip and brings me the paint, I will paint both sides. Here we go. finish up the painting today I just have to do some of the ceiling part here I don't know if you can really see it maybe I'll hold back like that but anyway there's uh, a couple areas that he missed I do see some some back there that I'm gonna get so it's complete um, it don't look too bad We'll see what she says when she returns. So, here I go.
I said, you will see two colors, but she didn't care. She said, as long as it's covered, she didn't care. So that's it. Whew. I'm done.